Hey, what's happening, everyone? Johnny Man here, and welcome to episode 10 of my FIFA 18 career mode save with Coventry City. So, today's episode, first and foremost, we have a game in hand up against Cambridge United. Obviously, this is the tra January transfer window, and uh, not much activity to speak of thus far for the club itself. However, uh, we have entered the contract negotiations with Stuart Bevan. I've decided to try and re sign him, and good news is he's willing to take a pay cut, so that helps on the financial side of things. But going into today's game up against Cambridge, they're seventh, we are fourth. We've got to start winning games because my job is kind of on the line. Not really, but kind of. So this line, this team we're going with today, we've got a full strength team pretty much. Labonte's going to be in goal, Grimm at right back, Haynes at left back with Conte Willis through the middle, Reed on left, Jones on right, Stevenson Hamad through the middle, Andrew and uh, Bevan are going to lead the line. All right, so here we go at the Rico Arena up against Cambridge United. This is kind of a must-win game because we are now three points behind third place. So here's Andre on the ball early on. He's looking for the runner, Jones. He finds him. Jones going to try and go around his man, but uh, Taylor dispossesses him with ease, and the ball is hacked clear. Now here's a great through ball from Bevan, and Andrea is through on goal. He's got a chance to make it 1-0, and oh, he went for power rather than finesse. He should have gone for finesse. Good save from the keeper, but nevertheless, that was a golden opportunity to take the lead. All right, just fell on the attack now. It's a corner kick. Let's see if we can get this ball clear. Ball's played at the edge of the area, and it's found Taylor. And it uh, looks like we're going to try and dispossess him. Goes around Conte, and that's an awful challenge, and that's going to be a penalty kick. Ibrahima Conte has conceded the penalty there after an awful challenge. Didn't get any kind of yellow card. Take a look at this. I don't really think... I don't think he meant to do it. I think it was a complete, absolute, sort of a clumsy challenge, to be honest with you. I mean, he barely touched him. He barely touched him on second look. That is a ridiculous decision. But here's uh, David Amu for Cambridge up against LeBron. And his LeBron goes the wrong way, and it's 1-0 to Cambridge United. It's Ben Stevenson streaking forward here. He's got the pace to get away from his man. He's going to shoot, and oh, he missed it. He put it across the keeper. A decent opportunity for Ben Stevenson. Great run and shot. But fortunately, just couldn't hit the target. If he hit the target, that would have been 1 1. A neat build up player here from Sky Blues. Here's Andreo. He's going to look for the run of Jones, but he found Bevan instead. Bevan, first time shot and scores. Get in there, Stuart Bevan. Great finish there. Great through ball from Tony Andreo. These two are forming an absolutely unstoppable partnership up top. They've already had one decent opportunity. Andreo pushed wide, but uh, that was a wonderful little through ball. I was actually aiming for Jody Jones, but Bevan found the, a better run, and that's a wonderful first time finish there from Bevan into the uh, far corner of the net. Here's Andreo again. He's found the run of Carl Reed. Reed plays it into Bevan. Oh, and the keeper came out and smothered the ball there. Still a decent opportunity at the end of the first half. And the first half whistle has gone finally. It is 1-1. One, one. So it's a little bit of an even game so far. Um, perhaps we should be in the lead. That miss from Andreo and Stevenson could have easily given us a two-goal uh, advantage. But unfortunately, we couldn't find the back end that. Let's, get, let's go up the same team because so far we're playing really well. They've only managed to score through a very, very, very dodgy penalty decision. And it's going to touch him for Bevan to start the first half. This is a chance maybe to get an early goal. Here's Bevan. Bevan shoots from distance. Oh. Good start to the second half. Here's Bevan again. He's found Andreo through on goal. Andreo scores. Get in there, Tony Andreo. Again, that, that uh, striking partnership has come to fruition here. Great finish there from Andreo this time round. He missed scuffed the first one in the first half, but that was an absolutely wonderful little finish from a great through ball from Stuart Bevan. Take another look at this one. Bevan's going to play it through. One touch and smash it past the keeper. Keeper's got no chance, and it's 2-1 uh, to the Sky Blue Army. Oh, this is wonderful build-up play here. And Bevan's now through on goal and a chance to make it 3-1. Bevan shoots. Oh, good save from the keeper. Full Sandra who scores. He makes it 3-1. Decent build-up play. Solid, decent build-up play. And uh, Bevan, unfortunately, kind of scuffed this shot. Uh, but it was a good save in the end. And Andreo was there to tap it home. Great poacher's goal. And it's good to be 3-1 up. Here's Bevan again, racing through on goal, went for power, good save from the keeper, and Andrea on the little scissor kick makes it 3-1. Here's Andrea leading the charge now for Coventry City. Bevan turns in beautifully, and Bevan is now through on goal, shoots. Good save from the keeper from the edge of the area. Albiano is through on goal now, and he scores. 
of course I trash the guy and then he gets a goal it's pretty much his first touch of the season good finish there great through ball though from Tony Andrea he has been absolutely unstoppable up top today gets the ball the edge of the air fantastic through ball and Biama really couldn't miss from there good finish nevertheless and 4-1 to the mighty Sky Blue Army here's Andrea again he's found Bevan oh Biama it's going to lay to Andreas through on goal. Oh, good save. Never mind, he wouldn't have counted. That was a chance for his hat trick. He was offside. I maybe should have taken the effort there with Maxim Biamu, but unfortunately, um, I decided to be a little bit unselfish and try and get Andreas' hat trick. But it's still time. Here he is on the ball now. He's going to go, oh, try to go by his man, but unfortunately, it was a great challenge for another defender. Three minutes of added on time. The game is pretty much set in stone now. Very, very good performance from the boys. And it's good to bounce back of a win after a disappointing draw against Chesterfield. So there you have it, 4-1 victory. And what a performance that was from Tony Andrea. Uh, absolutely magnificent uh, from him today. Uh, nine and a half rating overall. Got himself a couple of goals and a couple of assists as well. Had a hand in every single goal. All right, so no active transfers to talk about right now in the team going in or out. So we do take on Exeter City, who are currently one place above us in the table on equal amount of points. This is a huge, huge game for the club. Obviously, we want to win today, but we do have some uh, concerns over stamina in the team, as you can see. So instead of Kante, McDonald's going to come in. Uh, then Jones, we're actually going to start Vicente. And instead of Hamed, we're actually going to start Kelly today. Everyone else is going to stay the same. Um, let's go and get a win. Obviously, we do need to win to try and keep our promotion push going. If we take a look at the league table, they have a lot better goal difference. Actually, only plus five. It's not terrible. Uh, only three points behind uh, Notts County. Now, if you win today, it's a possibility we could leapfrog them into uh, first place in the table. But lucky enough, we are building a little bit of a distance now between us and Crew Alexander in eighth place. All right. So here we are at Exeter City at the real St. James's Park. And uh, hopefully we'll get another good win today and a 4-1 victory would be pretty sweet. And as if we kick in a dangerous area here, uh, Ruben Reed's going to stand over the ball. Ball spots in and that's a fantastic header and all oh, narrowly over the bar. I was expecting a shot and, and they uh, put the ball in the box which left the man clear and uh, we're unlucky not to be 1-0 down. Oh, here's Andrea now with an early chance. He goes by his man beautifully, and oh, he absolutely scuffed the shot. Horribly, horribly wide. Still a decent build-up play. Great bit of skill for Andrea to get away from his man. Nutmegs him and almost puts the ball into the top row of the stand. All right, we got some really, really bad news here. Stu Bevan has gone down with a knock, which means we're going to have to bring on Mark McNulty. Still a very talented striker, but I'm hoping the injury to Bevan isn't too serious. Here's McNulty, there was Andrea, through on goal to Vicente, Vicente, oh, decent save and the keeper there, tried to play it across him, smashed it low and hard, but that was a good save from the keeper there, good build up play, Andrea again causing problems with the opposition defenders. Oh, here's a chance for Exeter now, just before the first half and ended and a good save from Lebon, coming up big for us once again. Oh, that's a header and it's a goal. 1-0 to Exeter City. Great header there. Poor market in the box. And unfortunately, that is header was far, far too easy. 1-0 at the end of first half. And that is a shitty-ass time to score, to concede. And there it is. The end of the first half. 1-0 down against promotion rivals Exeter City. Uh, let's go ahead and make a couple of changes because the guys are looking really, really tired out there. Uh, first and foremost, let's bring off Stevenson. Uh, Hamad on the bench. Uh, let's also... We had to only, only bring off Bevan, which is super, super disappointing. So I'm reluctant to make any more changes, just in case we have to do some later on. So um, I want to make a third change, but I don't know who to bring on. Fortunately, loss of Bevan has left a little bit in the lurch. Oh, here's Haynes on the overlap. He's got McNulty in the box. Put the back post to Vicente, who gets there. And it goes harmlessly over the bar. Vicente did really well to get on the end of that cross. It wasn't the best cross in the world, but Vicente made the most of it. It was almost back on level terms. Here's another chance here for Exeter. Make it 2 0. He goes by his man. Oh, it's another good save from Lobant in goal. Oh, here's McNulty now. He's got past his last man. He's going to pull it back. Who's arriving in the box? And someone's. Oh, how did you miss? Hamad hasn't scored all season. How the hell did he miss from there, though? That was a fantastic opportunity. Great play for McNulty. 
Here's McNulty again, though. He's going to lay it through, and uh, Hamad this time does find the back of the net. First goal of the season for Hamad. What a finish that was. Great play for McNulty to hold the ball up, wait for the runner Hamad, and that was a wonderful, wonderful time run and a great finish from the Egyptian centre midfielder. Taking a look at this goal, McNulty holds off his man beautifully. Waits, waits, waits. Great through ball and a first time finish. This time to Hamad into the far corner. That 1-1 one, one, and we're back in this game. Here's McNulty with a through ball. Here it is. He's going to turn his man beautifully. McNulty. Oh, what a finish from Mark McNulty. <laughs> what a goal. That is a goal of the season candidate. Mark McNulty just chipped it over the goalkeeper from the tightest of angles. What a goal that was. No one saw that coming, especially the goalkeeper. Let's take another look at this one here. You thought he had absolutely nowhere to go, but he turns inside. And a lovely little chipped cipher effort into the far corner of the net. 2-1 to the mighty Sky Blue Army. Get in there, my son. What a finish that was for Mark McNulty. Oh, here's Kelly. Good for ball to Andreo, but he's out muscled there from the center half. And he's going to make an easy, easy clear. And so, about five minutes now to hang on. That's a really, really well one header. McDonald's going to get across there and well played for McDonald. Haynes in a little bit of trouble there, but he does well to play himself out of it. Here's Hamad. Finds Jody Jones. Finds McNulty. Can't get hold of the ball. So we got two minutes now. I've added on time to hold on to this very valuable victory. If it as well to win it back, but you lose it straight away to Lee Holmes. His bow tang. And there it is. The full time whistle has blown a 2 1 victory coming back from 1 0 down and the injury to Stuart Bevan. Great uh, finish to the heart. Great finish there for McNulty to give us the victory. That goal was absolutely unbelievable. Let's take a quick look at that one. Good through ball from uh, Haynes. Fires McNulty at the edge of the area. And a great through ball and a wonderful, wonderful finish there for Mark McNulty. All right, so with the result, it's launched us now all the way up to second place in the table. Three points clear of Exeter now, who sits in fourth spot. So the good news coming out of the game was, in fact, that Bevan is not hurt at all. So that's awesome. He goes straight back into the team, even though McNulty scored an absolute blinder in that last one. All right, and now we take on a Swindon Town. What we're going to do actually is do this in the next episode and we'll wrap up the uh, January transfer window. So far, there's been very, very little activity going in or out of the club. Only one player sold and one sent out on loan. I am still looking for a uh, good potential striker, I think, to back up the first team. And I'm also looking for a uh, maybe another winger because I'm trying to move on Carl Reed, but nobody's come in for a solid offer yet. Um, so with that in mind, what I'm going to do is end the episode here hope you guys enjoyed it uh, if you did remember to hit like comment subscribe on the video and uh, if you want to see more videos from me please hit subscribe put notifications on and i'll see you all in the next part goodbye everyone goodbye